This one's about cleaning the outdoor condenser in your air conditioner. Not about how to clean it, but whether it's really going to make any difference. Now I did this stuff for 35 years, uh, working for a couple of companies and I had my own business for a while too. Uh, if you're looking for a coil to clean, I think I'd clean the inside coil. Now I'm going to show you uh, a coil inside, you know, it's an inside evaporator. Of course, the heat pump, it's also the condenser in the winter. So uh, it's probably a little more important than the outdoor coil. The indoor coil is going to get dirtier than your outdoor coil almost every time. Why is that? You say? Because there's cooking grease, there's animal hair, there's all kinds of things that get into the ductwork and go through that coil. And so the, that indoor coil does get more crap in it than the outdoor coil. Outdoor coil mostly does. Uh, sometimes there's leaves, they don't make much difference either, but unless there's a lot of them stuck in there. Um, grass clippings, yeah, I suppose. But so many times I've gone out and for whatever reason someone wanted that outdoor coil clean, and I would check the head pressure before I started, and I'd check the head pressure after I finished. And you know, I very seldom found one that had any real difference in the head pressure. They're really, uh, you know, some of them I thought were pretty dirty looking. They still have yeah, head pressure, you know, R22, you know, is two and a quarter, and what I've done is two and a quarter again. So, uh, I'm not telling you not to clean the outdoor condenser. Uh, if you want to, go for it, can't hurt so on but well I gotta throw a little story in here anyway uh, there was a commercial unit it was probably I think it's about 15 ton uh, and it had a nice cute little board inside that had the pressure gauges and show the head pressure and the suction pressure and all this and you know, it was all fancy stuff and uh, one of the other techs had been out there and he looked at the head pressure and he says, because the gauge right there, you know, and he says, you know, it's really high. It's higher than it should be. And at that time we used to figure 30 plus ambient was the temperature, condensing temperature. Uh, it's a little lower now, more like 20, sometimes 25. But he looks at this and he says, well, it's way high and so they well I went out there later and cleaned the coil and you know it's a big coil and I looked at it it didn't look dirty but you know who knows so I sprayed and did all my stuff with the coil and got all that done and went back in the head pressure was exactly the same so I go hmm doesn't sound right. So I put my manifold gauge set on there and guess what? That gauge was 60 pounds off. <laughs> so don't trust these gauges that are, that are put on at the factory. I mean these, this thing was probably 40 years old anyway so uh, it's uh, they're probably not going to be of any real value. So uh, that's my little story, but I'm, I'm going to show you this a uh, few pictures about this uh, uh, indoor coil. Indoor coils are harder to clean than outdoor coils generally. Uh, I'm showing you the the uh, the case coil. This is actually my personal air conditioner, and. I specified a cased coil so I could actually access inside it to clean it. 
most of the installs do not, they just put it on top of the furnace. You know, those gas furnaces put it on top of the furnace in the duct work. Uh, and service tech comes along later and has to clean the coil. Usually ends up tearing the, the uh, plenum apart. Uh, maybe you can lift it up and clean it, but it just, you know, it's, it's much harder. Nobody cares about the service tech that has to come along later and clean the coil. Now the manufacturer don't care, the uh, install doesn't care. That's my problem. So, of course, I had to deal with that, but that's, <laughs> that's how it comes. Uh, but when I put my own in, I said, I want a case coil on this thing. And you got to pay extra for a case coil. And here's what it looks like. Uh, there's some screws on there. You take the screws off and we can look inside. There's another little plate inside that you got to get off to be able to see the coil. And um, I've taken the plate off and you can see the coil in there and it's, it's kind of dirty. It's, it's really not very bad, but it's, it's kind of dirty. So yeah, you could clean this coil and it's probably going to be more effective for the efficiency of the unit to clean the indoor coil than the outdoor coil. Like I said, indoor, there's a lot of stuff indoor. The indoor air quality is horrible compared to outdoor air quality most of the time, unless you got smoke or something. But, uh, so the things that come through the outdoor coil are mostly dust. Um, you know, a few leaves and things like that uh, may get in there. But even, you know, if you look at this one, it's got louvers on the outside. And even if there's leaves, they usually don't get inside the louvers. They just, they just fall off. You know, uh, I've actually run this thing. There's some uh, local weeds that love to come up and I kind of like the thing so I let them grow and I've had them grow completely around this thing and it looks like it's just almost covered with them and I check the head pressure and then I cut them away and I check the head pressure again and it's the same so <laughs> uh, you know do what you want to do on it but uh, cleaning outdoor coils except in certain situations where there's been something that's uh, that's caused a lot of uh, a lot of crap to get in the coil isn't as effective as you might think and you know i know everybody thinks you're crazy you know you got to clean the coil uh, and go for it do it if you want but uh, i don't think it's going to make a lot of difference in most cases <laughs> that's it on this one